Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at Valor of the 13th. Now this is an expansion pack of the Lock and Load Tactical Combat System. Now this expansion pack pairs up with the Heroes of the Motherland module, so you need that module in order to be able to play the scenarios that are in this one. This expansion pack includes counters, maps, and more scenarios for Heroes of the Motherland. Let's open it up, take a look at what's inside, and offer some impressions. Let's jump in and get started in talking about this expansion. Just again, a reminder that you do need the Heroes of the Motherland module in order to be able to play this one. And as with all expansion packs and modules in the system, all of the features and solo rules and things like that that are in the Heroes of the Motherland module will overlap with this system. So the question that we want to kind of look at as we look at Valor of the 13th is, what does this add to the experience? Now, Valor of the 13th is named after the 13th Army and their efforts in the early part of July 1943 in the Battle of Kursk. So that's really what this focuses on. We have wide open terrain, large battles with lots of armor involved. And in particular, you know, as always, an expansion pack adds more. We have two big maps that this adds. We have a counter sheet, and then we have 10 scenarios. And some of these scenarios, two in which are actually monster scenarios that we'll take a closer look at. Uh, the other thing that this adds, given its emphasis on armor, is a nuanced and optional advanced vehicular damage system to the lock and load tactical system. We'll take a look at that as we dig in too. So with that, let's get started. The first thing we have as usual with the expansion modules is roughly a 50 page here, modules, rules, and scenarios. And the one big module rule here that we wanna take a look at is advanced vehicle combat. And most of the counters actually will center on this, and it's gonna kind of assist in this function. And basically what happens is you get nuanced damage results on a lot of the vehicles. So we can have things like a gun barrel destroyed, vehicle crew stunned, mobility damage, turret damage, mobility destroyed, turret destroyed, and then of course the vehicle destroyed itself. So it adds here, and then critical hit vehicle destroyed. So it adds a more nuanced and refined optional combat system, which seems very appropriate for what this module centers on in terms of there's some, uh, some scenarios here that have a good bit of armor emphasis. So that's our uniqueness there. Let's take a look at the scenarios that are in this. Again, we get 10 of them. And as always, we have the kind of the two player set up here and then added to it. And I assume the Heroes of the Motherland module has that solo system into it as well. You've got the solo setup for it here too. Some of these again, get pretty large, especially as we look at some of the later ones. And we'll take a look at the maps too. Uh, maps are kind of wide open. So lots of room for movement, maneuver, and uh, kind of uh, mobility in combat here, holding the shoulder. And I'm gonna kind of go through these until we get to the end, because we've got a lot that use infantry, some that use some pretty significant amounts of armor. But then as we get to the last two here, we get right here, the final ascent, one more, here we go. Tigers on the Prowl, monster scenario. So uh, quite a large and, and massive battle here that goes in here. 21 uh, T-34s and then four KV-1s up against eight Tiger tanks and two Panzer Js. That's a pretty much, that's, that's a big armor battle there. And then our last one here, Cats to the High Ground is the second monster scenario. 21 T-34s in addition to a bunch of other stuff against once again, eight Tigers and two Panzer three J's. So uh, plus a lot of other support elements here for the Russians there too. And this one occurs on the kind of the cratered and hill map here as well. So lots of stuff to dig into, monster scenarios, kinds of fun things to explore and play with in this one. So let's take a look now at the counters for this too. And again, uh, I'll show some close-ups on these. Some of these have fallen out and I've kind of put them back in random places, so that's kind of why. But as we can see, the top two thirds of this counter sheet here really focuses on markers for the nuanced vehicular combat damage system. So we get turret damage, mobility damage, uh, turret damage, barrel destroyed, things like that. And then some additional uh, armor to enable those larger scenarios, I would assume. So a relatively straightforward counter set printed on both sides. And yep, these counters are eager to get going. So we do have some other ones here, stunned and things like that, that again, facilitating that advanced combat uh, system, that advanced vehicle combat system here. And we get a player aid as well, which is the advanced vehicle combat player aid, again, articulating all of the different types of pen penetration damage results and how you determine what they are. So relatively straightforward, single-sided player aid 
card uh, that uh, kind of basically helps you navigate that advanced combat system for vehicles. So pretty cool. I, that, that sounds like that would be a lot of fun to try. And then we get two maps. Now these are larger paper maps. I will show zoomed out views of these as we unfold them. One of them here, the one that we'll take a look at first is 25 and a half inches by 16 and a half inches. Uh, this again is a, is a kind of a, a thicker vinyl paper map, which makes sense for a larger map like this. And again, as we take a look at these, and I'll show some close-ups and things like that too, uh, you know, we've got some villages, some trails, roadway, some changes in elevation, we've got some craters here, and then largely, again, wide open spaces, you know, lots of room for tanks to maneuver, infantry to maneuver, and mobility is key for this one. Really cool map. I wonder too, on the craters here, how they impact combat. So just stop to check that real quick. All these craters, they follow core module rules. So nothing unique about those for this particular system. So there's our first map. There's also a larger map too, which is uh, 34 and a half inches by 22 inches. I'll show a zoomed out view of that one as I unfold this one. This one in particular feels like we've got, again, wide open sweeping Russian rural land here. We've got very flat roads. I can just picture armor going all over the place. I think this is probably the one that does at least one of, I think one of the monster scenarios must be on here. So when you've got all the T-34s sweeping across the countryside and things like that. Now there is a village up here on one part of it. We do have some roads and then we do have some brush and some trees and some woods in some of the corners and things like that. But largely again, this, uh, you know, quite, in, quite highlighting the open nature of this combat around Kursk in the early part of July, 1943. Um, so yeah, this looks like a lot of fun. Again, the artwork looks really good. Now these are all single inch hexes. These are not the 4X maps because, well, this is, you know, of course a much larger map to be able to do that. But these are the regular size maps that we're looking at here. And there are, there's the one set included with these at that standard size, uh, hex size there. There you go. A look at Valor of the 13th Lock and Load Tactical Systems Expansion for Heroes of the Motherland, bringing nuanced armored combat and some sweeping large scenarios to the Lock and Load Tactical System, uh, again, focused on Kursk 1943 and the Russian 13th Army. Going forward, I actually don't have the Heroes of the Motherland module yet, so I'll have to pick that up at some point in time to be able to show some, show some gameplay from this. Uh, but I do look forward to it. It looks like a very exciting system, and I'm really kind of eager to try some of those uh, massive armored battles around some of these sweeping landscapes. It looks like a lot of fun. Be happy to entertain questions. I will put a link to related videos on the Lock and Load Tactical System as they come up on the thing, and, and well as a, an unboxing for Heroes of the Bitter Harvest, if you haven't seen that one yet. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day.